Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Isa and today I will teach you how you can download and install stickers from the Printstick library and use them in GoodNotes or Stixer. So this is the library, you choose the stickers category and then you can choose any subcategory you want. You can go through all of them and download each of the sets included. For this I will show you with this unicorn set located in the people subcategory. So I'm going to tap there to open it. And when I scroll down here, you'll see the files included. Every set will have the same types of files. So the first one comes in GoodNotes format. And to use this one, you just tap to open and it's going to ask immediately if you want to download this file, you tap on download. Then you can see this little arrow was active, meaning that the file has been added to the files app on the iPad. I can tap there and then I will see the zip file that was just downloaded. As you can see, I'm in my downloads folder in the files app. So if I tap on that zip folder, the file will open and now you can see the GoodNotes logo, meaning that if I tap there, I will be able to export this file straight to GoodNotes. Select the location and tap on import as new document and you will have all of your stickers ready to use. If you use your lasso tool, you will be able to make a selection on top of the sticker you want to use. Tap on that selection, click on copy, then you can go to any page in any planner or another document in GoodNotes and you will paste the sticker that you have just copied. you'll see that you also have a second file format and this is PNGs. And what that does is that this is an individual copy of each sticker saved with transparent backgrounds in case that you are using a note-taking app different than GoodNotes. So then you can use these in either the files app directly or Stixer. So after tapping on this file, click on download again. The folder will again go to your files app. So tap there. I'm gonna hit done here. This is my downloads folder in the files app and you can see I have that new compressed file here. So I tap again to decompress. This does not work if the file has not been decompressed. So make sure that you just tap on the zip file first and that will create this regular looking folder. So you can either keep the stickers here in the files app and then use split screen view with GoodNotes to use the stickers. So you will be able to just tap and drag each sticker and add it to your planner pages. The note taking app that you're using could either be GoodNotes, it could be Note Shell for any other. And this method will work with either one of those note taking apps. However, as you probably know, I prefer to use the app Stixer because it will allow me to see the totality of the stickers instead of having them cropped like this. So you just open Stixer, select the category you want or create a new one. So I'm just going to create a new folder labeled Unicorn. I scroll down to find my newly created folder, which is right here. Tap on this plus sign, files, because that's where my unicorn stickers are. Now I have to go to the location where they are, which is my downloads folder. Here's the stickers I want. Tap on these three dots, select, select all, open. Wait a few seconds and all of the stickers have been imported into this sticker folder in Stixer. As you can see, now I can see the totality of the sticker and that is why I prefer using Stixer. You can now tap and drag your stickers as well onto any page on any note-taking app that you are using. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope that you learned how to use stickers downloaded from the Printstick library. If you haven't joined the library yet, I'm gonna leave a link below on where you can do it. As usual, if you have any questions at all, just drop me a comment. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet and click on the bell so you know when there's a new video out. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.